Good morning, Foxes, and welcome to another week of our announcements. We have a lot going on this week, uh, so much exciting things, so let's get started. A reminder that this is Women's History Month. A little bit of information. Since 1995, the presidents have proclaimed the month of March to be Women's uh, History Month, and this uh, celebrates the contributions women have made to the United States and recognize their achievements. So girls, make sure that you're doing great things so, because we celebrate you this month. All right, our activity schedule for this week. If you are in first through third grade, she is going to, Miss Brenda is going to have the Connect Four out there. And for our fourth and fifth, we are continuing on with our March Madness. All right, we do have a minimum day this Wednesday. The 23rd will be a minimum day. You will get out at 1.30, so make sure to remind your parents. All right, we have a student council meeting on Thursday before school at 8.05 in the library. Make sure to be there if you are a representative. All right, it is time for our positive office referrals. Gail from Mrs. Newville's class earned one for always listening and following directions. Mrs. Newville knows she can always count on Gail. Great job. Giovanni has been having a few tough days. Throughout that time, he has kept a positive attitude and has shown great kindness to others without expecting anything in return. Great job, Giovanni. All right, we have Emma in Mrs. Garcia's fourth grade class earned a positive office referral because she is one of those students who is always kind to everyone. When a new student came, Emma volunteered to help her learn the Who's Reading program. Great job, Emma. All right, Bentley from Mrs. S. Garcia's second grade class is kind and helpful every day. Mrs. Garcia never has to ask him to help others. He just does it because he has a big heart. Mrs. Garcia knows that Bentley is a student she can always count on. Amazing job, Bentley. All right, our March Madness is continuing. You guys have been doing a great job. It's super fun to watch. At the end of this video, there will be the little clip that we have um, highlighting all the March Madness events for this week. We'll work to keep that going next week so you can see some highlights as well. All right, it is LPAC testing week. This week we will be doing our LPAC testing in our ELD classes. This is for third through fifth grade. Uh, make sure you take your time and try your hardest. We just wanna see what you know. Students on campus need to stay quiet so they can focus. So make sure if you're not a third, fourth, or fifth grader, you're keeping quiet so they can do their best on that LPAC test. All right, we are gonna have a flagpole this Friday. We will see you in the morning and Mrs. Charles' class is gonna be cheering us on. They are leading the flagpole on Friday. And we are also going to celebrate our student of the month on Friday. This is for cooperation. I can't wait to see all of our great foxes walking that red carpet. All right, the Cattle Cot Award. Remember, we are sending around the book bags because we want you to look at the books, analyze the illustrations, and decide who you would give the Farmdale Cattle Cot Award to. So when all classes are done, those books will be available in the library. I can't wait till we can announce who those winners are. All right, our Fox Employment Center, those uh, interviews shall be coming up. Thank you again if you applied, and we can't wait to see who um, does really well in those interviews and earns those jobs. All right, our Fox to Watch is back. We've been talking about that. We are actually going to celebrate our first two Foxes to Watch on Friday at Flagpole. So wait for on uh, Flagpole, you will see our two Foxes that have earned, that have gone above and beyond, and will have lunch with me. All right, our Live the Creed goal is six. So if you want to earn that final assembly, that fun assembly we do for Live the Creed, make sure your class earns six certificates. And if you get six, don't stop. That means your class is awesome. All right, our pencil box is out there and they are for sale for 25 cents. Please do not jam the machine. If it's not going in, stop. Check your quarter, make sure that it's okay in the right spot. And so, because if we jam it, we get it, we can't use it for a little while. So make sure you use a quarter and try not to push too hard to jam it. Thank you. All right, again, masks are optional now. So remember to be respectful of other students' choices. And if they want to wear a mask, they can wear a mask. If they don't want to wear a mask, they don't have to wear a mask. And we don't need to say anything about that choice. That is your choice. All right, our strategy of the month, again, is to keep negative opinions to ourselves. So remember, if you have, don't have something nice to say, 
please don't say anything. You need to think before you speak. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? And is it kind? All right, we have a shout out to Isaac and Angel in Mrs. Cecil's class. They joined the 100 Book Club. I got to go see them last week and give them their certificates. I'm so super proud of you. I can't wait to go back and see more of you get that 100 Book Challenge. All right, our quote of the week as we are still in March Madness, I have one from Michael Jordan, a famous basketball player. I would tell players to relax and never think about what's at stake. Just think about the basketball game. If you start to think about who is going to win the championship, you've lost your focus. So if you're already at the championship, you're not even thinking about the game today. So be in the moment and just play and have fun. All right, guys, I have the Box of Kindness tickets. Let's see who our winners are this week. We have Anayeli from Miss Smith's class, room 11. Congratulations, Anayeli. We have Aizen from room 13. Wow, we've got two third graders this week so far. We have Milani Pastor from Mrs. Vang's fifth grade class. I'm going to do five this week, guys. I have Aiden from Miss Smith's third grade class. Wow, Miss Smith's class is a lucky class this week. Let's see one more. It's going to be Jay Marie from Mr. Downey's class. Congratulations. Make sure you continue doing those kind acts and bring those tickets into the Fox Support Center for your prize. All right, and so I want you to have a great week. Just a reminder, after this video, I'll have the highlight of March Madness and we'll have our birthdays. So I want everyone to have a great week. Get those foxes up to be a fox. Repeat in your mind, be safe, be responsible, be respectful and kind. All right, you have a great week. Bye.